Okay, so I want to show you how to use the MLS on a Mac. This is for Southeast Florida MLS. Uh, they have a Mac, com what should we call it, a Mac compatible website. So it's pretty cool. Doesn't have all the functionality. So I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty quick. You know, and it's actually. I mean, it's faster than the other website, I think. So, okay. Anyway, so that's one way to do it. But since you say that you can do things that I can't do, well, I'm going to show you that you're wrong. It's pretty easy. I have this program called Parallels. So it's right here and just count the seconds you have to load this program once and then you can leave it in the background as long as you want so I know the first time it takes a little bit longer but it's not even that long so you can count it to like 30 seconds or less and then if you have the latest version of Mac OS 10 which is line you can use and with the full screen, basically what you do, it's it's like you have Windows right now. See, you have Windows. Back. And with the mouse, the magic trackpad, there's basically you swipe with four fingers. You know, swipe left, swipe right, swipe right. So you have like, it's like you have two computers on one. Mac, Windows, Mac. Windows, <laughs> it's pretty easy. You swipe up, and then you see these are all the screens that I have. You know, it's like different desktops. So there's the, and it runs just as fast. I mean, it doesn't really run slower unless you're running games or something really intensive. So this is just like you're running regular Windows. Then you log in. Let me log out of here and then go back here. Mac Windows and there you go. Actually, the window, the other version for Mac is a little bit faster, I think. But, you know, you can just do your regular search, and that's it. And then when you're bored, just go back to your regular operating system. You can just leave it running in the background. So, hope that helps. Get a Mac.